Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Paint.net plugins. And then you might ask, what? Pl plugins for Paint.net? Is that a thing? Yes it is. There's a whole community of uh, people making plugins for Paint.net and many of them are really good and useful. I use a lot of plugins. So today I'm going to show you how to um, install them. So first open up your favorite browser. I use um, Firefox. What you want to search for is, well, some plugins, for example, paint.net uh, plugins. Here, paint.net plugins. And uh, you can find some here. For example, Liquify. That one is good. And you can download it from his plugin set. You can download an installer or a zip file. I would recommend using the installer because uh, it's easier to... Uh, well, it's easier because uh, you don't have to drag it in manually. So we just open the zip file and uh, just extract the .exe file, close it, and then you can just open it. Here are all the plugins that will be installed. And if you don't want, for example, a jitter, you can uncheck it. Click next and install. That's how you install um, a plugin through, a, through an installer. But if you, um, if uh, the plugin doesn't uh, have an installer, let's say it only has um, a zip file, DPY's plugin pack is really good. And as you can see, there's only a zip file. So let's download it. Here we have it. Here are all the plugin uh, plugins that come in the pack. So many of them are good. My favorite one is the DPI color balance. It's really good, I use it a lot, because you can change the colors a lot. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to install these files. So what you need to do is um, open up the file explorer, go to your drive, uh, program, just search for paint.net, um, and then effects. And, and here you're going to drag them in, just like that. And there we go. That's how you install uh, plugins for Paint.net. So if you open up Paint.net, you'll see, well, I have already a lot of plugins installed, but uh, if, if we go to tools, and here we have liquify, oops, I accidentally, uh, I didn't delete the, the old one. Oh, well, I'll do that later. <laughs> but, so here we have liquify, and uh, if we draw something here, and you use liquify if you if you have used photoshop before you're probably familiar with this tool it's really good here's the dpi color balance or as it's called here color balance plus and it's really good so i can like change the shadows to be more cold and then maybe make the mid tones a lot warmer like that looks pretty cool so that's how you install plugins for Paint.net. If you have any questions, just leave a comment on this video, and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. That's all I have to say, so thanks for watching. Bye!